Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with the WBZ News Update. Let's take a look at our top stories. An arrest in a stabbing at a star market in Mattapan. This started as a fight between co-workers at the deli counter. Boston police responded to the supermarket on River Street yesterday afternoon. A witness tells WBZ the victim was stabbed with a butcher knife. Police arrested 47-year-old Trevor Charlton from Hyde Park. He is set to be arraigned today in Dorchester District Court. One of the state's largest insurance providers is warning patients about a hack that might have left their personal data and health information exposed. The parent company of Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare first detected the ransomware attack weeks ago. They say hackers were able to access patients' names, addresses, social security numbers, and medical information. It's still unclear if hackers have misused any of the data or if it was just accessed. Harvard Pilgrim is offering free identity protection and credit monitoring services to the affected customers. A man is under arrest, accused of dropping screws on a busy road in Freetown. Police say the man lives along South Main Street, where hundreds of screws have been found every day for the past few weeks. They have caused damage to dozens of tires and forced highway crews to spend valuable time sweeping the road with magnets. An investigation is ongoing. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast with Zach Green. Maybe some thunderstorms tonight, Zach. Yeah, expecting to dial those up later in the day. So prior to that point, it really is going to be beautiful. Mostly sunny skies, a little hazy, a little tinge to the sunshine because we still have the Canadian smoke. But nonetheless, we're going to be well through the 60s. Then we're going to cap off there for the south coast, Cape Cod, as well as the island 70s in store off to the north of the pike. And with the warm temperatures on the northern side of the state in southern New Hampshire out to the west as well. A better case to see some of those isolated downpours. Not seeing a ton of severe weather potential here, but some lightning, some rumbles of thunder still possible outside of 495. Start to lose pretty good steam as we go east of that region. And once we march our way into the overnight hours, everything sweeps out of the way. So yes, still rain ready, but at the end of the day, this is more of an impact towards the evening commute on Route 2. And once we make our way to 190 in areas of the pike out towards the Quabbin, but once we pass that, I think everybody will be able to handle this one just fine. We'll scour out some of the smoke uh, has been really locked in place for the past few days. Some more brilliant blue sky on tap as we cool things down tomorrow. A bit of northerly breeze, so it is going to be bright and windy on Thursday afternoon. 70s in store on Friday, and thankfully we will keep high pressure in command, or it seems it looks that way, out to the weekend. This wave of low pressure wants to get capped off, and we really shouldn't deal with a whole lot, if anything at all. So as of now, we're keeping things on the dry side for both Saturday, Sunday, and we include that for Monday too. Liam, every afternoon for the Memorial Day stretch, close to 80 degrees. Sounds good. Zach, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.